All right, so uh, today I'm going to teach a real basic trick in using Photoshop Elements called a DNC, day to night conversion. I'm going to take this picture here and turn it into this. It's a fairly simple project, but as you can see, it can bring out the best in a picture, make it better. So I'm going to close this up real quick and let's get to work. Okay. Um, first thing you're, you're going to want to do is select your polygonal lasso tool. That's the one up here. Looks like this. All right. And then what we're going to want to do first is make a new layer, selecting only what's underneath these mountains in the background here. And I'm going to be real precise because I don't want to get any of the sky. That's going to be its own layer. So I'll just go around these mountains and select everything underneath. Just go around. All right, almost there. Let's speed it up a little bit. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay. And we're just going to get everything underneath. So just make a box and reattach. There you go. Got everything selected. Now I have a new icon. I'm going to right click inside that selected layer. Layer via copy. And there we go. New layer above our background. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to select our background again. And we're going to want to make a new layer with only the sky. And I'm going to speed this up just for the sake of time. Uh, you'll want to be more precise than this, but like I said, just for the sake of time, we're going to go around. All right, that looks pretty good. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing. Right click, layer via copy, and we have a new layer. There we go. All right, so we're going to reselect layer one. And then we're going to go to Enhance, and down to Adjust Color, and I'm going to adjust the Hue and Saturation. And so, oh, hold on a second, I'm going to do something else, I apologize. Enhance, Adjust Lighting, and you're going to adjust the layers, or the levels. And when you bring the, this represents the blacks, and we're going to make everything darker create some shadows just give a more since we're converting it to uh, a sunset we're gonna want shadows that came off the mountain so we're gonna bring this down make it darker and you'll just mess with this until it looks alright to you but like you you can see it's just creating some shadows alright that looks pretty good now we're going to go and adjust the hue and saturation. All right. And what I'm going to do is I want a reddish tint because when I think of a sunset, I think, you know, oranges, reds, uh, some crisp yellow. So we're just going to bring this up. Saturation will just make the color brighter. I think it looks pretty good at zero, so we're going to leave it there. Maybe make this a little darker. That's too dark. <laughs> That's too light. <laughs> All right, and we're just going to bring it down, the darkness, just a little bit. Um, maybe a little more. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. Okay, so I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, we're going to select our second layer, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to adjust the levels to enhance the clouds make them look better so we're just gonna bring the lights up a little bit makes it a lot clearer and then we're gonna bring these down the blacks so that it's dark and all this is gonna do is gonna make a really nice crisp reflection when the light is coming over the mountains so we're just gonna bring those up really enhance the clouds and then make it really dark Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, next we're going to do the color. 
and we're just going to bring the darkness down even more. So it's almost completely black. Maybe even a little more than that. That's pretty good. Okay. Now we are going to, let's see, select layer 2 again. And we're going to go to a filter, render. We're going to create a lens flare. This is going to create a lighting effect, as you can see right there. Then you have a bunch of different options. We're going to use the 50 by 300 millimeter zoom. And we're going to bring up, uh, I'd say around 130, 135, something like that. Just to give a nice glow coming over the mountain top. So the sun's just setting behind it. And you just want to mess with it a little bit, see what looks good to you. But it's going to create a really nice look. I mean, we have different options. These are the, what the others would look like, but we have the right one with 5300 millimeter zoom. So that looks... I'll just adjust it a little more. Okay, I don't think I did much, but... Uh, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. It looks good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring our second layer on top of our first layer so that the skies are on top. Give it a second to load here, a second there. Hold on a minute. There we go. All right. And there you can see we have our sun setting. All right, let's go. There, what are we going to do? There's a little ring. I don't really like that ring around it. It makes it look more like a camera shot. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't look too good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that ring around it. And we're going to use a new tool. I'm going to zoom in here. It's called the Clone Stamp. One of my favorite tools. You can do a bunch with this thing. Basically, all we're going to do is um, put it over the selected area. Hold Alt. Left click. And then we're going to move it over what we want to delete. And it's going to copy whatever you had in the targeted area to a new spot on the page. This is a real easy way to um, delete something out or to um, of the background that you don't want. Because it's just copying the rest of the background and then moving it. So as you can see, this rings. It looks a lot better. I like that a lot more. And like I said, this tool can be used in many, many, many different ways to recreate or even create a new background. I can show you that in a later tutorial if you want. Just a lot of, it's a really, really good tool. Yeah, let's just finish this up real quick. Okay, that looks, that looks better. Let's zoom out. Right click actual pixels to see what we were at and there we go. I think that looks a lot better. Okay. Um next we're going to um go to filter, render, lens flare, and we're going to get the 105 millimeter prime. Oh, oops, I need my first layer selected, my bad. Same thing, render, lens flare. Um, we're going to, like I said, 105 millimeter and bring it down, I say about 40%. What we're going to do is make some lights on this truck. Because it's dusk and, I don't know, picture looks like it just needs a little bit something. It's not quite done until... And just click again. There we go. And that's a real nice addition to the picture and I guess that's about it we're just gonna wanna crop this so that it's just what we want we wanna delete that little line in the side there so select the whole thing bring it over to cut that off enter press enter there we go and our picture is complete and it just, it looks a lot better. So uh, that's a basic tutorial on your DNCs and Photoshop elements.